was the number of civilians killed in Afghanistan and the 15,000 that they hid, the war crimes that they hid and they classified and that is illegal as well because war crimes cannot be classified. And today we have Fahim here from Afghanistan to tell us the story of his people and how they were affected by the war on terror that America concocted. Hi Fahim. Hello free people, only free people, hello. The Adil Khudai Bhairatinama in the name of just God. My name is Fahim Pashtun Wardak. I am one of the victims of the half a century of war from Afghanistan. I have felt, sensed, and tasted all the crimes and atrocities in Afghanistan. The recent war, which was illegal, criminal, and artificial war designed at Pentagon by the evil man called Khalilzad, Dick Cheney and Bush, they designed these illegal wars. Why I've come here for two reasons. First, I love Julian Assange dearly who stood to the evil and pharaohs of our time to tell the truth. What is the truth? He exposed the mass murders and genocide of people in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Libya, and the rest of the world. He exposed pedophilia, pedophilia sponsored by Pentagon. In one of the papers of WikiLeaks, when I heard, when I read them, I went bonkers. When Pentagon was sponsoring those pedophiles, in Afghanistan there is a very bad subculture called Bachabazi. The warlords, they commit these Bachabazi, they kidnap young 10, 12 year old boys and girls and tie bundles around their legs and hands and make them dance, force them dance. And the night time, they gun rape them. And these, and these warlords were supported directly for this action by Pentagon. Even the puppet government of Hamid Karzai, I call him Danpak, Pampak, Japap Karzai, he complained to the Pentagon that don't support these warlords, these pedophiles. To no avail. Another brave Australian journalist, you have heard her name, Carmela Baranowski. She also exposed the crimes of Pentagon. JSOC is a group that commits crimes in Afghanistan. And JSOC went to villages to rape people in US uniforms. There is another journalist, American journalist, who documented the crimes of Jason. His film is called Dirty Wars. The Dirty Wars exposed that what Pentagon was doing this. And also, Julian Assange exposed to us, told us the truth that these bombings of the war on terror bogus operations, they do not focus on, on terrorists. They kill innocent civilians. This is one side of the war. They supported warlords, human rights violators, mass murderers, and CIA and Pentagon, they supported JSOC to commit crimes. 
They killed 15,000 surrendered people in Afghanistan in Mazari Sharif. It was CIA and Pentagon who told the biggest criminal dostum to finish them in Dashti Laili. And they were put in containers. Inside the containers, they were mass murdered. 15,000 of them. It is called Dashti Laili massacre. Why they were doing this? You see, 800,000 American soldiers, they are suffering from PTSD. Half a million NATO soldiers, they suffer from PTSD. Why? Because they didn't go there to solve a problem. They went there to commit crimes and to make this war ongoing. So ongoing war means what? The arm manufacturers, machines would run produce more weapons, upgrade more weapons, and Pentagon would pour $8 trillion, not less. It is according to University of Brown. Brown University exposed another truth to us, that it was $8 trillion of American taxpayers, 800,000 of American young soldiers who became victims of this war, and American people became modern slaves to US military industrial complex, an evil push and player. The same with NATO country, and the same with us. Our taxpayer money was spent to finance the machines of our manufacturers, and from there, they gave push and player commissions. Where did they, Tony Blair get all this money, $150 million? Where did he get it from? All commission from our manufacturers. The same is with Bush. Where did he get 500 million? So eight trillion dollar, eight trillion dollar. If you put that one, 0.0001% commission would go over one billion. Because one billion dollar was given to commission, eight thousand billions were given to the arm manufacturers. So how they sponsored the war on the other side? The Taliban are no different from the warlords. Why? Because they were also supported by Pentagon and CIA and Toba Toba Pakistan's army to create targets. They can hit and justify it in Congress to produce more weapons and make more money. This is the picture of, I will come to the other part. This is the picture I made years ago. Nobody listened to me. And I was saying, the Taliban, Gulbuddin, Hebatullah, I call them Danpah, Pampah, Pasar, Japap, Dajjal. They were supported by Punjab's fascist and evil army in ISI, Pakistan's army, Toba Toba. And this is the evil Obama. Some people they say this is this is sometimes from our old people saying, sometimes oppressed becomes oppressor. I wonder why black people voted for this evil Obama to, to commit crimes. They forgot how they went through the history. They forgot the legacy of Harriet and Douglas. They forgot it. I challenge all the black people and the rest of the world. Why are you silent at the crimes of these evil who committed crimes and killed one and a half million of my people? This is my brother, 16 year old brother, the son of my mother. 16 year old brother Shapik Wardak, he was killed by the same CIA, Pentagon, ISI and KGB in 1992 in the Civil War. And I also lost another two and a half year old brother. I said I'm a victim. I tell you the truth. Our genocide 
was committed like a scissor. You know, scissor has got two blades. One blade was Pentagon and Tanpur, Pampur, Jabab, Ashrapani, Karzai, the puppet government, and Pentagon supported by funds and dollars in our taxpayer money and tanks and artillery and airplanes of eight trillion dollars. The other blade was the Taliban, the Daesh Al Qaeda. They were also supported by Pentagon. Why? How? They give them Helmand opium production. Helmand opium production, which is the biggest in the world. This Helmand opium production give access to the funds for the Taliban for nearly three to six trillion dollars. Three to six trillion dollars was also made by CIA and Pentagon from Afghan opium production and selling. They even kill our children here with the heroin bringing to Afghanistan. Who is bringing the heroin? Who is smuggling heroin to, to the UK? Do you think an Afghan like me can bring it? Put a sack of opium on my shoulder, bring it to the UK? <clears throat> Absolutely impossible. It is the same flights, CIA and Pentagon operating. They were operating the same operations in Vietnam. They were putting them in the coffins of dead American soldiers. They destroyed Harlem. In Vietnam War, you remember? Don't forget. But in Afghanistan, they didn't need to bring them into coffins of dead American soldiers. They were bringing them in the same containers. They were shipping weapons and they were saying, these containers should go back to America, it's American property. It is Julian Assange who told us the truth. Expose this smuggling of opium. Expose the mass murder of our people, the genocide of my people. It is Julian Assange, I'm here to salute him. And I am here to ask for his freedom. Free him! I would say, dear, dear Julian Assange, lovely, lovely Julian Assange, and you call him free, 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 yeah, three times, dear and lovely Julian Assange. Spiritually free, Julian Assange. Free, 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 free. He is a messiah of the truth. He is the icon of the truth. I, on behalf of the people of Afghanistan, owe him dearly because he told us the truth. He told us the truth about these <coughs> crimes. You see, this is the story of a shoe repairer on the street in Helmand province. He was sitting on the street here repairing shoes. A poor man, his earning would be like one dollar a day. And this is his daughter next to him. The suicide track supported by ISI and Taliban and allowed by CIA and Pentagon exploded in the market and put this child into pieces. Shame on that. So now the criminals are who? Bush, Blair, Johnson, Merkel, Ashraf Hani Karzai, Obama, Trump, Austin. Austin is the Defense Secretary of the United States of America, he stepped on the legacy of Harriet. He stepped on the legacy of Nelson Mandela. And he stepped on the legacy of Douglas. He is a defense minister. He is the Secretary of Defense of the United States of America, responsible for the genocide. Now I say, free Julian Assange. We say free, free, free. Jail war criminals, 
Jill, Jill, Jill. Free, free, Julian Assange! 